We're gonna paint this yellow flower trees. It's very interesting and beautiful. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk into the sky. At the same time, I make the paper a little bit wet. First, I'm gonna wet the background. Just add a little blue color, a little bit blue color. And with the water, I'm gonna start from the top. That's one of the reasons that I tape all side because I know that it's gonna, the paper is gonna be wet. And I got a little bit darker blue at the bottom. And don't worry about too much of the texture. And it will, it will smooth because the paper is wet, right? That's good. Now I'll take care of the background. I'm gonna start getting some yellow color. So here you go. Have some yellow. I'm thinking about they have lots of water. Okay, now I'm gonna get lots of water with this. So what I want to do is a lot more water. Okay, here we go. So what I want to do is drip dripping some yellow color in because the roundness of the does it make it looks like uh, the spring flower don't use too much forces it just tap on it let's see <coughs> maybe a little bit more water so it's easier to drip Now the paper getting drier and drier, so making sure I do that a little quicker. Ooh. Now I'm gonna start coming over here, just tap on the, the paper like this. And make sure you leave enough gap in between uh, those yellow dots because otherwise what could be confused with those uh, four leaves, autumn, which is much thicker than the spring, like this. Okay, leave some gap. I want this area to be a little bit thicker. I also, because this, this is gonna belong to the tree at the front, so I'm gonna use a little bit thicker yellow color. And the color will look a little bit brighter. To see how you can see things in groups instead of individual. Okay, now this is the, uh, the flowers actually in the background. So I'm gonna use a little bit lighter yellow color. that some some over here too good now I'm gonna have some even lighter colors maybe even add a little gray colors a little lighter I'm gonna have it over here those are a little bit farther away from the front You want some randomness, so I'm gonna have lots of this. <coughs> okay, let's get now. I have this feeling of spring, I think. Okay, like this. And some area have a little bit um, orange, or a little bit orange or brown colors. So I'm gonna get a little red color and have it here, this. I don't wanna make it uh, confused with uh, the fall color, the autumn. And I'm gonna just have a little bit, has a little bit, set it somewhere, have a little bit, it's a shadow color of the 
of the flowers like that and maybe over here too so this is good I'm going to move on to going to paint uh, the branches and when we come to painting the branches and be a little careful about how dark the color you're going to use if it is darker you create uh, more contrast and it would show the tree actually closer to us if the contrast less it would be more in the distance right so we probably do that for the trees in the background first because this area is still wet let's see I'm gonna mix a little brown color <coughs> with this a little bit blue colors so this is pretty light so I'm gonna use this do a little bit over here again look before you paint if they're a little bit blur and fade away that is perfect so that you actually you see that more as in the distance all we need all we are doing is suggesting suggesting this year the distance and by using different value a little thicker like that right good now this is great and I'm going to use this skewer on that and let the color dripping down okay let's see like that it's small I'm not scratching onto the paper. It just move the color around. Now this is for the distance. I'm gonna walk into this side then. I'm going to put a little bit more color on it. I'm gonna come to this side. Like that. Cool, huh? looking keep observing keep looking I'm gonna come up over here on this side Pretty easy. Use this stick for the small branches. <coughs> small look like spring. Okay, something at the top. I don't want to include too much for the top over here. But if there is this flowers, there's the leaves, and you should have some small branches connect them. Okay, now I'm gonna come to this side. I want a little bit darker and brown colors. Darker brown colors. Okay, this is good. A little warmer. It's good. Now, here you go. Let's see. Now, we wait a little bit before we do this so that the color get a little drier. Okay. Now you can see those are a little bit more uh, at the front, closer to us, right? Because uh, different colors, darker now. But Professor, when we doing that one, we don't have the little thing. stick. Yeah. And then get a toothpick. I had a demonstration mm -hmm. 
uh, also use toothpicks, and so you can you can use toothpick instead of this uh, longer uh, stick. So this is the. They're showing the branches and actually at the front. I hope you guys have fun with the spring. Uh, do a little bit more painting uh, with the feeling of the spring. <coughs> that. And I can uh, fix that a little bit later. Okay, coming to this side. It's just great to do something with the uh, season, you know, because you feel it. You have the feeling uh, of what you're feeling now instead of try to do it what the photograph look like. Because you live in that time. Okay. Like that. Now, let's fix a couple things. Over here, it's a little bit too thick. I can lift it up. You know, it's when it, especially when it's still wet, you can easily to lift up the colors. And you can actually put some yellow color in here. And I can lift up here too. I don't need that much color over there. Maybe have a little bit, a little bit more yellow color. <coughs> like this. And we need a little bit more yellow color on this side. There's some um, flowers actually put close at the tree close to us. We apply the color for the tree in distance. So I can make this trend a little bit clear. Like this. Okay, now I'm gonna apply the tree, maybe apply the tree over here too, first. A little bit brown, but it's not really dark. So let's see. Okay, let's see. Very interesting shape. All right, it's good. Like that. Good. It looks like I need a little bit more yellow color on this side. That's not very bright, so I'm gonna put it over here. Looks like I need a little more, a little bit more yellow, a little bit more red, a little bit more wet, so you can see it's more as rounded a flower shape. Now we're going to come to paint the main flower, tr flower tree. It needs to make it much darker. I'm going to take the time to mix the right color. It's much darker, like a dark purple color. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to start from the top over here, coming down. Good. Control how much uh, the brush touching the paper so you can control how thick the, the branches would be. Paint slower, okay, so you can have more control. Uh, 
Okay, good. And then let it coming down. So this is how we present the object closer to us instead of farther away by having uh, different dark and light colors, especially for the branches now. So good, coming down right here. As I said, paint a little bit slower. You make it look more, a few more as a tree. Big smaller branches on this side. Okay, a small one over here. Good. Mm -hmm. Now you can see this tree, it's very close, there's no question, right? Uh, let's see, anything we need to do, I think I'm going to have the same color, I'm going to have it extended, continue into the small branches from here. Apply the color on the skewer. Lower when you paint. Yes. Okay, now we're going to do the final adjustment. The last time, some yellow color for the flower tree that closer to us. And this one, I'm going to add a little bit texture for that. So you can see this is belong to the flower tree closer on it but still make sure you leave enough gap in between painting. We just try to paint our feeling instead of uh, try to paint uh, only the colors. 